late June, dozens of refugees camped four weeks in front of the United Nations High Commissioners for Refugees, or UNHCR office, in Kabon City, Central Jakarta. They were demanding progress over their request for resettlement. On July 10, the Jakarta administration finally allowed them to take shelter in one of its buildings in Kalideres, West Jakarta. Problems remain even though refugees have left the sidewalks, with the Jakarta administration calling for medium and long-term solutions for the more than 1,000 refugees it currently houses. As of May this year, Indonesia hosted 13,997 refugees from 43 countries, mostly from Afghanistan, Iraq, Somalia, and Myanmar. A UNHCR report showed the figure is significantly lower than other countries in the region, such as Malaysia and Thailand. Both states have had to take in more than 140,000 and 90,000 refugees respectively, even though they are not signatories to the Refugee Convention. UNHCR data also showed the number of refugees resettled from Indonesia has also decreased every year. Jakarta Social Agency head Irman Shia said that the Kalidaras building houses as many as 1,429 refugees from 12 countries, with 1,100 of them from Afghanistan. The agency has disbursed at least 50 million rupiah or around 3,500 US dollars per day to feed the refugees at the temporary shelter. It is calling for additional support from philanthropists for food, water, and diapers from all relevant stakeholders to find medium and long-term solutions to the issue.